Who am I to say we tried our best? Who am I to say we kept ignoring all the promises? Who am I to say there's nothing left? Who am I? Good morning, you guys. I look like a hot mess. I feel like a hot mess. You guys, I am like. Oh, I feel like I am pregnant. Um, I've been like way overly hormonal. Um, I just had my period like two weeks ago. Where's my phone? I should look. My shoulder hurts so bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's been exactly two weeks since I've had my period. So I don't know like how like or why I'm feeling like this. I like I'm very. I don't know. I just had my period two weeks ago, so there's no way that I could be pregnant. Like, no way, unless I, like, had my period and, like, ovulated at the same time. Um, anyways. Um, but I've been, like, super nauseous, like, every single morning. And, like, sometimes at night. And then, like, this morning, like, I've been having, like, serious food aversions. Like, like breakfast food sounds terrible to me for the past and usually I'm like a huge breakfast person I love eggs um, and for the past three days I've just like not wanted them um, I've been so sleepy and I've been like super hormonal so I don't know what's going on I don't know if this is just like I don't know like I said I just had my period two weeks ago so I really like I, I have no idea what this could be but um, I just feel pregnant I feel pregnant even though I'm pretty sure I'm not, I feel like I am. All right, well, we are once again at Target. So I figured I would take you guys along with me. I just need to get a couple things, but I did want to glass, glance at some other organizational stuff. Um, yeah, so let's hop on in. We're gonna get some formula, some cleaning products, some half and half. Sound good, Kai? Are you gonna be super good for me? Okay. Sounds good. We always have to stop at this section. <laughs> Kaya, you got your little Elsa surprise though. So we're just gonna do that, okay? Who am I to say there's nothing left? Who am I to look down? Maybe someday I'll wait for it. Someday I'll look. Past all the reasons and wrong turns I took Someday I'll fight for it better than I fought for you Better than I fought for you Okay guys, so I just got back from Target. Um, I'm sorry, like don't mind my appearance. Towards the end of the Target trip, I started to get like super nauseous and sweaty and I was getting lightheaded. Super bizarre, I'm telling you guys, I feel pregnant. It's so weird, like the only way that would have happened is if I would have ovulated at the same time that I had my period, which I like don't even think that's possible, but, um, but and, and I have the marina. So I don't, like I really don't know what's going on, but I. I feel weird, okay? There's weird stuff going on over here. Anyways, my mother and father-in-law are coming over for dinner tonight. It's their, it was their anniversary yesterday. Yeah, so we are gonna make a dinner for them tonight. Um, I felt like such a butt. Towards the end of the Target trip, I had to just like run out of there with Kaya. I literally like threw everything in my cart, ran out of there. Totally forgot their card and their gift. I feel like such a bum. Um, but I'm gonna have Mike go back and pick that up before they come over for dinner. Um, but this is what I managed to snake before I got sick at Target. Um, I love the, God, what is it called? What is this brand? Like the Pooh Pillow Fort. I thought this was like the re something brand. Anyways, okay, so this is the Pillow Fort brand plates. Um, as you can see, I got quite a few different kinds. Um, we will throw these away quite often because they just they get kind of trashed. So, um, anyways, I just grabbed like a couple of each color. They're BPA free. Um, I grabbed some smaller ones. I grabbed two each of the smaller ones. And then I grabbed two of the separated ones just in case like we have something like gravy or like something with a sauce that's nice to have. Um, Riker is just waking up in his car seat. 
and he's like, hello, mom, I'm so big. You want your baba? <gasps> Cute boy. Um, okay, so that's what I got um, for new plates. I grabbed, this is the other brand of puffs that we like to get. This one is $2.99, but it's way bigger than the Gerber puffs containers. It's 40% more puffs, it's gluten-free, um, and we are gluten-free here in our household 90% of the time. Um, so, this is a um, purple carrot and blueberry. Blueberry? Blueberry. Blood. This is a purple carrot and blueberry blend. It was really hard for me to get out. Um, but anyways, and then this one has a much nicer top to it too. I really like this container. You wanna try somebody? He's looking at me like, yo, mama. That's for me here. Look. You can see his face. Look at his face. Want some of these, buddy? You want some of these, buddy? <laughs> you cute boy. You want some? Uh. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna open these up for him really quick. Mm. They don't like smell like anything. Here, try some, buddy. Can you try some? Uh. Yeah. Okay, so again, um, Puffs, way bigger container. Um, I did grab whenever i see like in the dollar section at target whenever they have like the play pack um ones that kaya likes i grab them um and i grab several of them because these are really nice to have in the vehicle when you're on a long car trip and they're starting to get just like a little bit irritable you can pull these out and hand one to them i always have these in the diaper backpack um and then also for restaurants this is really nice just basically anywhere that we're going to be where there's not like toys and things to keep kaya entertained um or we're going to be there for a long time and she might get like a little bit irritable i like to have these on hand um and they're a dollar each so it's a great deal. Um, that Frozen 2 section at Target is evil, genius material because Kaya spent like a good 15 minutes in there and I just let her look around. I didn't let her get anything besides those um, play packs and then like a little like $2.99 like mystery doll thing. So we made it out of there without spending a ton, a ton of money. Okay, so like I said, we are gluten-free 90% of the time in our house. But today, um, with my mother and father-in-law coming over, and I hope my sister-in-law is coming too. I invited her. Um, I always really enjoy her company. But um, I am going to make some chocolate chip cookies with Kaya, and Kaya found these unicorn chocolate chips, or like unicorn vanilla morsels. So I thought those were really cute, so we're gonna make those. And then of course I got a couple bags of regular chocolate chips, the semi-sweet. Um, and then I also got, um, so for like desserts during the week, I don't like us to have desserts during the week. I don't like to keep a ton of treats in the house. Um, so we have gotten rid of all the cookies and all the extra things that we had left over from um, Kaya's birthday. We're gonna make more cookies today, but I'm gonna send those home with my mother and father-in-law. Um, but I like to do, so this was $6.99 for this huge four pound bag of strawberries at Target. $6.99, this is an insane deal. Usually I pay about, I would say like 10 plus dollars for a good bag like this, and this was $6.99, such a good deal. Um, I wonder how many times I can say that. So anyways, what I like to do is, um, if you guys have seen any of my breastfeeding videos, like in, like my day in the life breastfeeding videos when Riker was like brand new, um, something that I would eat all the time to keep my breast milk supply up is I would have um, the Light and Fit um, Vanilla Danon yogurt with, um, frozen strawberries, and then a little bit of oats on top. Super good. So we're trying to go gluten-free and like try to stay on the paleo um, diet. I'm not gonna do the oats this time. I do have some oats that I could probably toast up and like put on top, but I'm gonna try and skip it. I'm not breastfeeding, so I don't need to like keep my supply up right now. Oats is a really good way to get your supply up, ladies, if you did not know that. But anyways, like I said, um, Light and Fit Dan and Vanilla Yogurt. You need to be careful with this stuff. Um, there is per one cup, there are 20 carbs, 20 grams of carbs and 13 grams of sugar. That's a lot. Um, 
My thing, uh, I know I can find better yogurts. A, my Target has a really poor selection for, for yogurt um, because it's a smaller Target. It's not a super Target. Um, so I can't find like the sugar-free or no sugar added version in this. Um, so what I will do, and this is really the only um, yogurt that I like the taste of. I'm super picky when it comes to my yogurt. I hate Greek yogurt. I can't stand it. it leaves a nasty, bitter taste in my mouth. So this is the yogurt that I can stand and like kind of tastes like ice cream to me um, when I add my um, defrosted frozen strawberries. Um, but I will do a half a cup only of this so that it cuts my carbs to about 10. Um, like I said, I do um, like to have this on hand for desserts like once in a while. So with my diet, or like not my diet, but just like the way I've been choosing to eat lately, I like to keep my carbohydrates under 50 um, and then my sugar I like to cut in half. Well, this is about as, this is like half my sugar for the day um, and then this would be a fifth of my carbs for the day if I had a half a cup. So there's quite a, quite a bit of carbs, but it is worth the splurge and it's not as bad as ice cream. Right, so getting into the rest of my random stuff. It is almost baking season, so I decided to stock up um, on flour. Again, gluten-free 90% of the time, but when it comes to like Christmas baking and like when I have guests over, like sure, I'll still serve them cookies and all the yummy baked goods. Um, everything in moderation, you guys. Um, and then I also have light brown sugar. Again, for Christmas baking. And I grabbed, oh, I grabbed some powdered sugar as well for um, Christmas baking coming up. The reason why I'm talking about Christmas baking is because, so we have hunting opener here in Minnesota, which like sounds crazy. It's deer hunting opener, which is basically like a holiday for us. So usually what will happen is all of the guys will go hunting and they'll go get their deer for the year. And then my mom, so like my husband will go up and hunting with my dad and his friends. And then um, my mom will come and stay with me for one weekend. And then I'll go stay with her for one weekend and those I believe it's like the second weekend in November and the third weekend in November. Um, those are the two weekends that we get together. So that's when we prep a lot of our Christmas baking um, and then maybe even put up our Christmas decor just because that's when we have a lot of extra time and extra help, etc. So that's what all of the baking goods are for is because in a couple of weeks here, like three, four weeks, um, I'll be having my mom come stay with me for hunting opener. So, um, and then I also got some dinner rolls for tonight. Um, again, guys, yes, I know this is a very naughty grocery haul. Sometimes doing the naughty grocery hauls though are kind of exciting when you're like, oh, this is, yeah. So, um, Crisco. <laughs> Crisco because um, this is what I use to make naughty cookies. They're really, really good and they like fall apart. If you like soft cookies, those are really good. So for most of the day today, since like tonight is going to be such a cheat meal, we're gonna be having brisket with mashed potatoes. Um, I think we're gonna do some smoked chicken too um, with dinner rolls and then I'll have like cookies for dessert. Um, anyways, it's gonna be a really big cheat meal. I'm gonna try and stay gluten-free um, for most of the day. So I'm gonna let Kaya have um, these breadsticks, but I'm gonna snack on some of this before we have lunch. Yep, we're gonna have that in a minute, okay? I picked up some half and half for um, coffee. I like to have half and half in my coffee. Um, I picked up a container of formula. We use the Enfamil Gentilis NeuroPro formula. If you're wondering. Um, and then I also got some russet potatoes because I'm making twice baked potatoes tonight to go with dinner. I finally picked up a new nose Frida. You guys know that I've been mu miss musing. I've been missing my two nose Fridas for like, it seems like forever. I don't know where they went. We had two of them and they just disappeared. And he, this is like snot season for both of the kids. So I wanted to make sure that I had one of these on hand. Um, and then I also picked up a couple things of tuna because I will be doing um, like a like tuna boat thing. I'm gonna be doing a meal prep video for you guys today too. All the videos are happening. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my like little tuna boats for um, snacks during the week. 
very good. And the last two things that I got for Riker, he is like, he's eight months old now. To me, in my mind, he's so like, he's so young in my mind. I keep thinking that he's just, he's six months old, blah, blah, blah. I, I gotta get going on this transitional stuff. I gotta make sure that he's getting into sippies and things like that. So I actually got two of them. Um, this is the Miracle 360 cup. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. Um, this is spill proof. They're not, I don't feel like any of them are truly spill proof. Um, but he's been drinking, he's been trying out some juices, he tried out orange juice. Um, he does really like water too. Um, to, he'll have that like with his meals. So that's when we introduce like new liquids is um, during his three meals every single day. But just so you guys know, um, their formula or breast milk consumption should not change. That is, should still be their primary source of nutrition until they are 12 months old. Um, we just like to start introducing some of these things. So we still make sure that Riker is having his 32 ounces of formula a day, um, but we will introduce water and juice and things like that while he's eating so that he's not eating and having formula at the same time because to us, it's like him having a meal and a meal at the same time. It, it's kind of heavy. So that's typically when we will introduce um, the water and the juice. And for juice too, um, something that I would recommend because juice is so sweet and sugary and strong. And it's really not that great um, for your kids. So something I would recommend in regards to juice is I, seriously, I just do like a teeny tiny little bit at the bottom and then I will do water. So I really water down the juice. So it's just a little tiny bit of a sweet taste. He never finishes the entire thing. Um, juice isn't super great for kids it's full of sugar and I feel like when we were growing up we were told that it was healthy juice isn't that healthy but nonetheless I do want to expose him to some of um, some of those things and like give him juice so but if I do I'm gonna water it down in here okay so the last two things that I got um, from Target are um, sippy cups I have not made the transition to sippy cups for him yet because to me in my mind for some reason he's just like a little tiny baby still he's only six months old and that's not the case anymore he is eight months old him is a big boy and it is time to start transitioning him to sippies um this is a good one um i've heard really good things about this cup so i'm really glad that i snagged it um i will not use this for his formula so that's a six plus month one um and then we use these for kaya when she was little they're like 2.99 they're the munchkin brand they are um just like my go-to for sippies all around um but like i said um but this is for nine plus months um this is a nine month this is for nine plus months, so I will probably start to introduce this one a little bit closer to next month. This is everything that I got from Target. All right, now it's time to really quick go record meal prepping video. We got all the things to do today, huh? Look at his feet, I love this. Kiki, 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 kick. Kiki, 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 kick. Okay, <laughs> it's time for Halloween movies. Hi, big boy, what are you doing? Hi, hi. Oh, oh, look at you, big boy. <gasps> look at you. <laughs> Let me see those two first. Have you guys seen his teeth yet? Hi. Can I see him? <gasps> Can I see him? Let's see him. Oh, there they are. Oh. <gasps> there they are. He popped both of those within like five days of each other. Yes, you did. Oh, big boy. So something else that Riker's been doing lately is he can now pull himself up to his feet. And <laughs> when he uh. does, he's so proud of himself. Uh. Yeah, so he's pulling himself up to his knees right now, but he's wearing socks, so I don't know if he'll be able to stand up. Hi, big boy. Hi. Hi. What do you think? Like, in my mind, you're just a tiny baby still. I can't believe you're standing up. Eight months old? Who said you could be that old? This big boy. Something else that I forgot to add um, in my little Target haul there. Um, I did get the apple cider Mrs. Myers because I ran out of um, counter, top cleaner, whatever. Um, we usually, what did we have in there before? Um, it's the green one, whatever the green one is, is the Mrs. Myers we had inside of our um, little sprayer before. But um, I got the apple cider scent this time. Riker says, look at all these things for me to play with on the ground. Mommy's going to put these all the way. <sighs> you think so? Yeah, I agree. Hey, do you want to watch some Scooby-Doo? Mom wants to watch Scooby-Doo. Yeah, go put that up. What do you think? 
Me kill boy? Show it Scooby Doo? Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> I get a lot of questions as to what is in these um, spray bottles if I like make my own cleaner. No, I just transfer um, the cleaner into these bottles because these have a really good spray nozzles on them and they look really cute <laughs> when I have them set out on this shelf. So I'll have like one here and like one here usually and I'll just leave them on the shelf and they look super cute and then it's like super easy access but it's out of the kids' access, <laughs> kids' hands. Okay, I have been like so tired like I can't even get myself up off the couch. And I know it's only been like two weeks since my period, but I figured why not take a pregnancy test just, just because I have like a ton of them. So I'm gonna take a test really quick. Okay, so like I said, pretty sure this will come out negative, but I have a ton of them and I just feel really weird. The only other thing I can think of is possibly like maybe I have like a UTI or something. I don't know though because like the smell, like smells and like food aversions, that's really weird and that's not usually something I have with um, whatever you call it. But I am feeling kind of feverish too. So I'm gonna take my temperature after this. I'm just doing, these are like the cheap Amazon tests. Okay, I'm looking at it and it looks pretty darn negative to me. I'm gonna get it to focus. That looks pretty negative to me. Darn tootin. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna leave it be. I'll probably retest in a couple weeks um, once I'm like closer to my period. I don't know, I just feel so ishy. I guess the next thing to do is to check my temperature because I just feel super goofy, like I said. Okay. Oh, Kaya always grabs the thermometers and plays with them. Hold, please. Okay. Let's so get this thing to turn on. No. It needs batteries. Oh, I can't like anything just go smoothly for me. Okay, put some batteries. So let's see. Oh, kind of like low grade actually. 99.2. I always take it a few times. Okay, so yeah, 99.2. Um, so like kind of a little bit. Um, Usually for me, I'm at like a good like 98.5, 98.7. So I mean like it's a little bit higher than it usually is. My cheeks are pretty rosy too. So maybe it is a UTI, I don't know. Um, I'm going to take, so usually when I have UTIs, I'll take d um, before I will try any antibiotics. So, uh, there we go. So that's what I'm going to take, but um, Okay guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog there for today because I have lots of other recording that I need to do. Hi, what are you doing? Oreo. Did you find an Oreo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I eat all the Oreos. Why are you talking like a baby? Hey, your shirt is inside out and backwards as usual, this kid. Always inside out and backwards, huh? <laughs> You're crazy. Okay. Um. Oh, you want a hug? Oh. The sweetest baby. Love you. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. Okay, so I will keep you guys updated on um, the whole like pregnancy thing. Um, I, I don't think I'm pregnant, but I, I feel pregnant. I feel pregnant, you guys. I feel so pregnant. Like all of these symptoms, very typical pregnancy things. And I, this like I don't normally feel like this when I get sick, so I don't know. This is really bizarre. I don't know what to think about it, but leave a comment down below if you guys have struggled with anything similar because this is so weird to me. Um, anyway, okay. I'm going to end the vlog there for today. And um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. All right, stay tuned for a meal prep 
video. Um, I'm just about to start that right now before I lose all of my energy that I have. Um, I'm going to be doing like my healthy like lunch meal prep for the work week um, and what I kind of do to get myself um, in line for dinners and things like that so that um, they're not too difficult. Um, I also have a really fun collab coming up this month um, to get my eyebrows microbladed. Finally, I'm so excited and I'm teaming up with a friend of mine. Actually, it was um, Riker's very first daycare provider and I love her, she is so sweet, just the sweetest human being and I can't wait to share with you guys um, her new um, journey and she's doing permanent makeup, um, microblading, things like that and I'm super excited to share that collaboration with you. So stay tuned. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up you know the drill leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel before you leave and here's to waiting and seeing if i am pregnant okay bye guys